a very nice, very, very fantastic to have you all here, gentlemen. It's an honor to have all of you here to have a discussion on men's on set. Thank you so much. I will take the chance to do a very quick introduction um, to everyone here. So first of all, I want to say a big thank you. And um, for the viewers out there, we have we have man like Mr. Kiflos. That's me. Good evening, everybody. How are you? Nice one. Thank you, Kiflos. And we have Caspi. We have Caspi with us. Thank you, Mr. Caspi. Hello, can you hear us? Sorry? Mr. Caspi, can you hear us? Yeah? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. I'm just uh, saying that a big thank you for joining us to assist the program. Thank you so much. So I'm glad to be on board. We have Mr. KB as well joining us here this evening. Mr. KB, how are you doing today? Yeah, hi, hello. Nice Very, well. Very well. Nice one. Thank you for coming. We really appreciate your time. And we also Thanks have... For having me. Nice one. Thank you. And we also have Gerard, thank you very much for coming. Really appreciate your time. Welcome. Great. Yeah. So without taking too much time with everyone, our discussion today is, is about sources. Sources, sources. You know, this is one of like the most biggest topic or the biggest word you ever hear in the man's life. Everyone in the world talks about it. Even if you don't talk about it, you're thinking about it. You know, it's, it's one of those things that um, as a man, it is always like something you want to achieve. You want to be able to be successful. You want to be successful for so many different reasons. So I've chosen to have a discussion about it today to let us just have a small talk and uh, to try and have a, a discussion about it, try to figure out some of the important things about it, why some people are more successful than others and how how does it really, I mean, how what are some of the elements that affect men from becoming successful? So today um, um, we're looking at, let's look at first of all, success on itself. It is so important, like I said already. But it has some sort of correlations to it, things that affect it to not make it so easy for everyone. I know that naturally some people just come across to be successful due to either the links they have or the connections with family, you know, connections. And maybe uh, it could also be through hard work and so many other, other factors. But let's look at some factors like age and time to do with success. So first of all, I would like to ask this question. Why is it that so to be successful is so important in a man's life? You know, I just want to generally ask that question, you know, and uh, that, that can go to anybody at all that choose to want to answer, first of all, it's just just as to open up this question about success. So why is success, to be successful, why is it so important, particularly in a man's life? Um, <clears throat> Anyone would evening. like to have a go? Good evening to everybody. We say assalamu alaikum. Uh, oh, good, good, to... good evening. Nice to have good you time. on board, Mr. Kobeck. Yeah. It's good to have you guys, see you guys again, man. It's been like ages. I think last week we were not able to do this. So yeah, this week is good. Um, nice. Let me, just, let me just chip in my little understanding of success. I think uh, basically it's, it's stated in the Bible that we should uh, be fruitful and multiply. So it is not just about we humans thinking. God even knew from the, from the onset that we, we were supposed to be fruitful and we we're supposed to multiply. And we being fruitful is more about having impact on things that we do. And as you said, success, it can cut across so many things. We're talking about financial success. We're talking about interpersonal success. And even building yourself as, as, as a person, we, we, you find that there's this success that you, you want out of it as well. 
So I think it's key to everybody in, in, in a certain direction that everybody wants to see it. It is very, very important. Whether you want to build that personal, you know, uh, uh, personal, uh, how do you call it? Personal image success for yourself. Whether you want to have success with your business, success with your family, or the financial aspect that also comes with it. But in recent times, we have limited it to just money. And I think it is, it is, it is just one, one space of it. We, we need to be able also to have impact on whoever that we are with in, in, in every small space that we find ourselves, whether it be big or small. It is very, very important. So to me, I feel it cuts across everything. Being successful is not just limited to money or not just limited to what we might feel it is, but it, 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 it cuts across everything. Yeah. Thank you. Nice one. Thank you very much, Mr. Kobeck. Really appreciate your contribution. It's, it's great. I, I love that. Anyone else will, will, will love to have a, a go at this? Generally, uh, success um, uh, is the accomplishment of a name. I mean, if um, you set your eye, your mind on something you want to achieve and uh, you're able to achieve it, then you are successful at whatever that is. Uh, as Kobeck said, um, We've generalized success to mean wealth, and uh, that that's the that's the main problem with uh, humanity now. So if you are not wealthy, then you are not successful. But then people are working, achieving success in their job. I mean, social workers. There are people who are doing social work, um, reaching out to people who need help, and they 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 are not rich, but they are successful at what they are doing. Um. I mean, I read about Bill Gates owning just a percent of Microsoft. And all that he's got, he's putting it into charity. So his, 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 his charity work has every investment that he's so far, I mean, acquired. You see, so in, in, his, in his pursuit for success, he's trying to reach out to the poor, especially those in Africa. So the Bill Gates Foundation is trying to build, I mean, their future, their, their success around helping people in Africa. So success is not always about, it's not only about prosperity, wealth, fame, what have you, but achieving what you set your mind, who you, you've set your mind to, 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 to achieve. And I think um, we, should, we should build our mind toward, to, to, towards that as a, as a, uh, a new generation. That's fantastic. Thank you so much for your input there. I really like that. Thank you so much. Miss, anyone else? Mr. K. Floss? Um, yeah, I, I think for myself, really, um, I would um, categorize success uh, in two ways. Um, you've got personal success and you've got external success. Now, personal success, you measure by the things you want to accomplish for yourself, with your family, i.e. then you've got external success. And that's really to do with the world, on how the world sees you and at what level the world perceives you to be. Um, and I think um, I think uh, Kobe, uh, Kobe, uh, Kobe uh, referenced the point about money being a measure, because unfortunately, we need the world externally needs an, an indicator to you know, to try to place people in a position so that it works, because we live in a capitalistic society. You need to have number one and you need to have a number 100. Um, because I, th I think the way the world is now, even with Bill Gates helping out, we haven't, we haven't reached a place as human beings where we all have resources to, to take away that need to be able to say, okay, we don't need money anymore as an ex uh, external indicator on where you are. One day, I think we will. Then I think then we can improve as a society and work more on that interpersonal success I was talking about, which will lead into a better change and affect everybody else. Nice one. Thank you very much for your input. Yeah, so external sources, internal sources, we got to be uh, paying attention in all different uh, directions of uh, sources. Yes, thank you so much, Mr. K. Floss. Mr. Caspi. Do you have anything uh, on sources for I, us? I think, I, I think personally, if I'm asked to speak about success, I am going to base it on money. 
and the fact that the Bible says money has read all things. Okay, so if I am walking and I see somebody also coming, I, I, there's no way I'm going to scream and say, wow, this guy is so healthy. I think he's successful. But then when I see him coming with a very big car, I see his house, I see the companies he owns, I can see that, yeah, for sure, this man is successful. And, and that is the reason why I say I will base my definition on, of success on, on money. Not particularly on money, but then what the person has been able to accomplish financially. Because if you are, everybody, of course, everybody is healthy. Like, we are all healthy, but then it, it, it does not um, bring a baseline that the fact that we are healthy, we are rich as well. Now, if... If me and you, the both of us are sick and, and, and you have money, of course, you can go to the hospital and then get yourself treated. But then if I also happen to be sick and I do not have the money, I'm going to die. Unless, of course, I come to your doctor to beg you. And if I come to beg you, of course, it's the same money that you are going to bring to me to get myself treated of whatever illness I have. So definitely success has to do with money. Nice one, Mr. Mr. Gaspar. I think you've said it quite well, because uh, myself, I believe that uh, money has got a lot to do with uh, success, because people look at money to be the main thing about success. Like, if you have money, or that is my personal opinion, though. I feel that if, if a per as a person, you have lots of money, people are able to easily measure you as being successful. Uh, but again, I also feel that it is not the right approach of uh, measuring someone to be successful. But all the same, you know, you know, we are getting the views from everybody to just have a good taste about what it is really out there, you know, in people's mind thinking what success really is. Uh, I'll, I'll throw this question to Mr. Gerard. Mr. Gerard, with res res respect to uh, success, how, how do you feel about that one? What do you think um, is success to you? Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, I believe success is something that drives everyone to achieve a goal. So normally you set a goal to be able to achieve it. And the goal could be a short-term goal, could be a long-term goal as well. But success basically is just freedom. If you've got freedom to be able to do anything that you want to do and also impact the life of humanity, I believe that is success. You know, we know money is something that motivates us. We are going to work nine to five jobs. You know, it's, it's all about money. But if you have enough money and you're not making impacts to the world, you are not helping people, then I believe that you're not really, um, you know, you're, you're not, you could be successful. As, as one of, I think Mr. Floor said that you could be successful internally, but externally you are not, you know, you are not really helping other people and you are just enjoying your money. So I believe success is just freedom and making impact to others as well. I love the way you put it, you know, yeah. It's about freedom. Yeah, and it's, it's about, you know, having the money out there to be able to assist others. I think that's, that's well said. Thank you so much. Um, let's look at uh, another thing to do with success. What do you think really affect success does pe do people become successful through naturally the links they have in life or is it such that um does, okay let's let's look at it first of all with age do you think your age or age has got a factor or something to do with success do you have to be successful at a certain age or do you have to try to be successful at a certain age to become successful? Or do you have to wait or search the right or search the right links and connections to become successful? So I'm asking this particularly to do with age. Do you think you have to be at a certain age to be successful? That that goes to anybody at anyone at all. I, I, I personally don't believe so because okay. the reason I am saying I do not believe so is the fact that Bill Gates started making money while he was 70 years old. At wow. the age of 31, he was already a millionaire. Okay. And, and um, I, can, I can also mention um, Reid Hoffman, um, the founder of LinkedIn. 
he started out at the age of 35. Now, I can also um, mention a few other names. Uh, Kemon Wilson. Kemon Wilson. He okay. also came out. He also came out. Came out with um, Holiday Inn. Now, okay. he the reason he, he 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 came out with that is because the fact that he went to he was on a journey with his family. Okay, and and they managed to be in this guest house or a motel or something. And um, his his children were underage below the age of 11 but then in their room they were going to be charged for it and he didn't understand it so why are my kids going to be charged at this age for their rooms so he came out with holiday in to make it free for kids below that age okay right. and the fact that the reason i'm bringing up his name is that he wasn't young when he came up with this he was old okay. he was he was in his 60s yes he wasn't young and um, there's another man, Harlan David Sanders. I don't know if you have heard of his name. No, uh, not not at all. Ken, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Okay, yes. That I know. I know very KF, well. <laughs> KF, he was 62. Yeah, yeah. So could he you repeat 62. that? He, he was, how old, you said? 62, 62. Wow, fantastic, okay. So if, if Bill Gates started at 17, another person started at... Um, 62. So you realize that no, then it has nothing to do with age because people are making it old. People are also making it um, young. That is why even in our local Ghanaian language, we tell you that a baby be one head and so. Okay. So, so it's age has nothing to to, to do with it. I I I follow this um, guy, some this gentleman that I follow on Instagram. He has 1.2 followers, 1.2 million followers, and. All that he's, he's into is uh, men's fashion, clothing, hairstyles, and grooming, and any other thing. Um, his name is Alex Costa. He is 31 years old, and he's making a lot of money from, from that, just dressing nicely and then posting it on Instagram. He's able to advertise for companies, and he's making a lot of money. It has nothing to do with his age. And so right. I do not particularly believe that age has got anything to do with um, success. Anybody can can break through at any age. You can, you can be 60 and break through. You can be 80 and break through. Um, I've forgotten the name of this woman. Um, uh, ha has anybody watched this movie? Um, Fruitvale Station. I think I heard about that one, but I can't uh, there remember. Is a, there, is, there, is a, there is a woman in it. She, she, she got the... Um, the, she came into uh, the public scene when she was very old. Okay, and and then you can also um, identify this gentleman's son, um, William Smith, his son. Will Smith's son. Oh yes, you know Will Smith. Him? Yeah, Will Smith. I, yeah. He, he started acting at a very young age. Yeah. And at, the, yes. at that age, he was already famous. He was already successful when when it comes to yeah. money because he was making the money. Somebody also said that he's when he was very old. I think um, the man who always acts as uh, that man who resembles Kofi Annan. Kobe, can you remember me? Can you remind me? Uh, something, something. Is it Jack Hackman or something? And how, how old is this man? Oh, he's, he's very old right now. He's very old. He, he acted one of these movies. I don't know. It's, is, it, is it London? Has fallen. One of those movies. Yeah, right. Biden has fallen. These presidential attacks. Yeah, something Hackman. No, not Hackman. Right. So he, that... he is also very. Oh, he started. He started acting at a very old age, and so that tells you that people can be successful at whatever age that they want to be. I see. Once, once you set the goal, like um, uh, K, K, go like um explained earlier with a definition of success, setting, set, setting a goal and then accomplishing it. Once you set it, then you are able to accomplish it. You are successful. And irrespective of what age that you are able to accomplish it. Great. So, so you know, Jesus, at the age of 33, he had already accomplished <laughs> whatever goal he came to, right? Yeah. 
but but then Methuselah, at his very old age, the Bible only mentions his, his age, no accomplishments, nothing. And so it can, it can come at any age. I'm <laughs> coming. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's not, he's not like yeah. King David with with a quote from the Bible, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he had nothing to do with his name. <laughs> Preach. Mm. Uh, that's, that's fantastic that's great i i really i love that it's, it sounds it sounds great you know I, I love the inputs i think uh like like you're saying um in your opinion age doesn't really have a lot to do with being successful because you can be successful at any time uh, but then there is that element of where uh like you mentioned already uh mr caspi uh you see uh someone like will smith's son that that guy, he was a bit lucky to be born into uh, the wealth already with Will Smith already having some sort of like wealth already. It would have positioned the uh, positioned him in the right frame to become successful quite easily. So we could look at that element and say that uh, some people get a bit luckier than others to be successful. And they can be successful, so, but uh, uh, David, easily. Uh, sorry to. Uh, so that uh, explains that. Does that um, explain that no. those in the Western Western world are um, luckier than those in Africa? Does, does hmm. it have any? No. Uh, well, I'm first let, sure. let, let's give let's give uh, KB a chance to put in uh, his uh, opinion on that. KB, what could you uh, express yourself on what yeah, you were saying? Um. Uh, uh, you know, there are channels cut out for certain people, but yet so you need to work hard to, to, to get there. You know, uh, the guy who acted Home Alone had that platform to be on the highest pedestal, but he couldn't rig there. Where is he now? He's an addict. Because he did not work his, his, his image into that yeah. limelight. Although he had everything going out for him. You see, so if you, I mean, you were born into a family, I mean, at a younger age, you are given the opportunity to be up there and you do not take a grasp at, at it. You, you do not work hard at it. You're still be coming down. I was listening to an interview. Um, uh, there's this guy, uh, he owns a, a shipping company now, very, very, um, uh, rich guy, Magdan. Okay. And uh, you know what he did for his eldest son? The guy completed secondary school, had to go to the university. He made him stay home for a year just so he can start his own business. Okay, so he loaned him some, some, some dough. He brought his um, um, plan and the guy started his own business, paying his own school fees and running the business with his, I mean, his, his own money now. Okay, so if this guy has all this opportunity and he's not working at it, what do you think will happen? He can't reach any goal. So, so far as you have the aim, you should achieve it. But then you should work at it or else you lose it. So it, it's got nothing to do with where you come from. It's only got everything to do with what you put in. Fair enough. That, that sounds great. I, I, I side with you on that one. I think, uh, like you say, if you don't have the aim, you might not be successful. So regardless of how you are positioned to make it work for you, you still have to have the... Um, you know, like you say, you have to have the aim, you have to have the feeling that you want to be successful for you to be much successful or for you to be successful. So, yes, uh, you have a big point there. And uh, thank you very much for the, for your opinion on that. So, Mr. Gerard, do you think that um, to be successful uh, in respect of uh, age-wise, has it, has it got any influence? Uh, can that influence someone a, in any way? Do you have to... Let, let me put a question this way. If, say, you had everything going for you, your family, 
uh, was already a bit rich. Things are working out perfectly. And, uh, you know, but you're not, you're, you're just about, uh, say, 18 years old. But maybe you're not even serious in life. I mean, can that influence you becoming successful? Or how do you feel about that generally? Age and being successful. Do you think they have connection? Or do you have to be wise enough? Because even there are some young people out there, or maybe there are the right, the right age, in my opinion. I think when you are over 25 years old or, of age, you tend to be more alert of yourself as a man, generally, to want to really make things work out. So do you think um, age has got anything to do with uh, becoming successful? Um, age is nothing to do with success. Um, what is it that you have to desire to be successful? What successful people do, there are things that successful people do that we need to do. As I, I believe we are all Africans here. Yeah. Are we on this platform, right? Oh. Yes. Yeah. Yes, no, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So <laughs> there are things that successful people do that we need to. Successful people, they wake up very early. They, they, you know, who you spend time with is who you become. So they will spend time with, there's something called networking. They spend time with people who have already been successful and they get to know what they do daily. What, you know, so let, let me just come in a nutshell as in, I work in a financial institution and I came to realize that there's something called generational wealth that is passed on to children and it's passed okay. with restriction, which is called trust. So within a trust, um, they will write Mr. Floss, 100 million for you to spend and leave the rest for your grandchildren. So that's a strict restriction that has been written to me at the age of seven. They know what school is going to go to. They know what private university is going to go to. They know what institution is going to work. So such people, you cannot compete with them. We come from the university and we are struggling to get a job. But when such people like this, they, are, they have that platform. But at the same time, if you spend time with them or you get to have a conversation with them, you understand that you can also make it. You know, we've, we've come here, uh, fortunately, um, the good thing is our parents have come here, we've had opportunities also to come here, to come and learn. But there are things that majority of we, we are not doing. We are not spending time with the rich. We are not making friends. We are not making friends with Chinese. Different countries, we are always staying to the African community, which is not helping. You need to know what, you know, you know what Chinese people do. When they go to any place, they just want to mingle. They want to learn the language. They want to, they don't drive flashy cars. They drive their own cars. At the same time, they make so much money in any country that they go to. So there are things that, you know, when you read about successful people, there are things that they do. And if you don't do them, it's going to take you a while to get there. You can speed your success by investing in stock markets, by investment, by saving, by living beyond, living beyond your means. So there are so many things that you got to do before you can be successful. Otherwise, you just be successful and you're going to lose all at the end of the, you know, before you retire. So, yeah, that's what I want to say. Nice one. Thank you very much for that. You know, really appreciate that. Uh, we're just going to take a quick short break and come back to this uh, very shortly. people. I come to your screens once again to tell you more about our services here at Navantrix Limited. At Navantrix Limited, we do not only delight you with entertainment programs and talk show sessions, we also render services such as website designs, graphic designs, and digital marketing. Hence, we can assist you with all your digital marketing needs and quality and artistic websites and graphic designs for your business. Our services have been made readily available to help boost all businesses, new or existing, big or small. All you need to do is to visit our website on navantrips.com or call the numbers on your screens and ask us how. You can also visit our YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to subscribe or follow our social media handles for more updates. Give us a call or send us a message and let's get interactive. We are waiting to do business with you.
Yes. Hello, and thank you once again for uh, spending your time to watch Men's On Set. As you know, we bring different kinds of programs to you, and we hope to bring fantastic programs, things that will in, you will enjoy so much with your family, and you will learn something from it, hopefully. So, yes, we are still on the topic of sources, and we are looking at age, what age has got to do with sources, and uh, we're still going to be looking at some other few factors and that, you know, that affect success in general. So, uh, like I was saying before, age and the success, do you have to be at a certain age or do you have to be wise enough or do you have to, you know, does your age influence that influence you becoming successful? So, I believe... Uh, Mr. K. Floss wished to uh, add a little on to that for us. So, yeah, let's see what, what let, let's hear out from Mr. K. Floss what he's got to say with that one. Yeah, just a quick one for me. Um, in, in regards to, to age, I think it's important that we have to put everything in, in perspective because we can, we can talk about Bill Gates or, you know, um, the guy that started Amazon, but those guys, we must never forget, those are the one in one million. Um, situations, right? In in a world of seven billion plus people, right? There's only about forty six million millionaires. It, that's that's not even a percent, right? So if we if we start um, on that basis, thinking that okay, if if this guy who's made it, who's a small fraction, can make it, and I can make it, I think sometimes we do not use the resources around us that would help us being successful, but instead. We aim so far high that we end up not getting to where we are supposed to get to if we took things step by step. So, so based on based on that, right? So, if you if you look at those statistics, the median of those millionaires, right, are in their forties, right? They're not young men. They're not eighteen, nineteen, and they're not old men, sixty plus. Yeah. So if we correlate that data alone, it shows us something. It shows us that when a man is in the middle of his age is when he reaches his prime, his understanding, and his wealth level is higher. And that's in every country, basically, if we're mm -hmm. talking about majorities and, get, and, and getting out data that will actually try to help and get people focused. Um, for, for example, I'll give a quick example. If, if you're... If you want to be an actor, if you want to be a, a, a presenter, a news reporter, for example, mm. ultimately your aim is to end up in Hollywood, I would assume, to reach your pinnacle. But if yeah. you're born in Cape Town, if you're born in Harare, if you're born in Shanghai, if you're born mm. in Delhi, right? if you aim for Hollywood straight away, it's unlikely that you'll get to where you want to get to because the odds are so stacked against you. But right? Doesn't mean you should aim for Hollywood, right? But if you work step by step, working on where you are, how about getting yourself in, in television, in your location? How about building a platform for yourself? How about raising your name up, you know, in your own city, in your own district, you know, then in your own country, yeah? Then in your own continent. Yes. You know, then you end up where you're getting. So I think strategy, okay, but I think also you cannot just ignore age because age is a massive factor when you look at the numbers as they stand. Nice one, Mr. Floss. I really appreciate that, uh, your input. Thank you so much. So, Mr. Kobeck, yes. Any any point on that? Yes, uh, a lot of points on that. I think as a black Chinese, you know, person. <laughs> okay, yes. I feel like it is it has gotten nothing to do with age, like everybody said. Okay. It's just the orientation and where you find yourself. If those resources are available to you and you have that prepared mind to work towards it, then I'm sure everything is possible. Because you know, we, we most of the times like you know, when you come to Africa, we want to compare ourselves, uh, have that uh one-on-one -on -one to know okay, what is so different about the Western people. And what is so different about us? The African people, we are taught in a different way. We were told life begins at 40. So that means below 40, you cannot be. 
you know, it's it's impossible for you. You know, but then if you go to the Western world, they believe that, okay, as much as the kids have an interest in a certain particular area, they invest into that area for the kids with the resources available, with the orientation that comes with it, and then the kids will just rise up like that. So I, I, can't, I can't compare myself to someone that is in, like, let's say, Europe now. In terms of when we come to success, maybe their bank account is very good, they are smiling nice, even though maybe they might have some one or two, you know, loans to pay here and there. I don't have a loan to pay. I might feel like, okay, they that they're having a loan to pay, they are comfortable because at least they're getting money in. I'm not getting money in. So you see, it, it boils down to that kind of, you know, perception that we have. If the orientation is very, very good and we also have that prepared mind to also wake up and do something, I'm sure that we can also compete. It doesn't matter where you find yourself. Whether you find yourself in the village and you want to do something, you can do it. If you find yourself in the Western world, you can do it as well. So that is my little, you know, my, my little, you know, uh, piece of it as an African Chinese man. Thank you. Nice one. Nice one, Mr. Kobeck. That is well said. I really appreciate that. And yeah, as a black Chinese person, yeah, you, there's, there's a lot that can be expected of you because... You know, I will say this, most things are usually made in China. You know, I'm just saying this for reference sake. Yeah, and Corona we, is also made in China. We, <laughs> we are well. <laughs> we, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. It, was, it was a business avenue for us, but then the world is looking at it as a pandemic. <laughs> we heal ourselves and then we, we start to, you know, work and provide things that you need to heal yourself. So in, in another way, we are, we are successful people. We think smart. <laughs> definitely, definitely. But at the same time, like you say, some, some people, I think naturally, turn out to be very hardworking and also get the lack of being positioned well in the right place at the right time. And I think mm -hmm. such people are a bit luckier than others to become very successful. However, it is always still easy for anyone to be successful depending on what your aims are like mr gerard said uh it depends on the attitude and uh, it depends on what you have in mind to to become successful at or what you are trying to build yourself towards you know mr kb also said something about that and uh, mr k Floss also said you know uh, some people are also born to be successful because of where they are located, you know? And if you find yourself in somewhere like very far back in the village somewhere in Africa where there is no connection anywhere and you want to be like Bill Gates, I mean, think about it. It can be quite challenging for such person. However, you know, you don't have to give up if you want to be successful. You have to find in your heart what you want to really, you know, achieve and achieve that to feel successful inside you. So with that honor said, we want to also look at characteristics as well. And uh, I think Mr. Kobeck wants to just uh, have a little- um, Well, I think in your, in your submission, you made mention of luck. For me, that it, there's nothing like luck for me. That okay. Is, that is my personal opinion. Because Fair enough. Uh, would you care to express yourself on that one for me, please? So let's say someone in the village is not having electricity. And I'm in the city having electricity. And we both sit for an examination. And that person passes his exams. And I don't pass. This is no luck. This is about someone that is focused. Someone that knows what they want. Someone that knows where they are from and they know where they want to get as Mr. Um, Mr. K. Floor said, you know where you're going. You need to have that determined mind to, to, to be able to achieve because a man with a focus never flops. If, if you have that focus, you, you, you know your purpose and you know what you want to hit, these things shouldn't limit you. It's just quite unfortunate that it happens, but it's not a limitation for us. If we can look at it as an opportunity to rise above it, I think it's really going to help us as black people. We we shouldn't just look at it and say, oh, someone has it. I don't have the means. We, you you cannot like you you may be someone that you might not have the means, but you might have someone that has the means to help you. 
that is per what you can you can you can um you can show or you can you can give out you know so i i think it's not luck it's it is you working hard like someone will tell you when talent meets hard work then you know it's something big to come you can't say you have talent and then you want to just stay there and that is it you don't do anything towards it but then when the hard work is in and it meets talent i think it's a lot of progress for everybody so yeah sure Nice one. Thank you very much again, Mr. Kobeck. So yeah, as you express yourself there, luck hasn't got a lot to do with um, uh, hasn't got a lot to do with uh, being successful. But let's look at uh, this uh, factor as well. Uh, the factor to do with uh, characteristics as a as a person, your character. We're going to look at this very briefly and try to wrap it up with uh, the whole discussion. So as characteristics, as a person, do you think having a character as a person, um, how, do, how do I best put this? If, you, if, you have a, if you're a person that wants to be successful and you have a characteristics of, uh, uh, let me just be straightforward, of being lazy or just uh, maybe not pushing yourself forward to really achieve what you really want to achieve, you know, obviously things might not go into your favor, but that's why I had brought the factor of luck because I felt, I feel that if someone is lucky, they could do something very, um, excuse my, my word, stupid or silly. And it can just start making him, him or her lots of money. And in this case, is that luck or is that something to do with his character or her character that, it had made him to become successful. So characteristics and being successful, do you think in general as a person, if you have some sort of certain character, it can lead you to become successful than others? That goes to anybody at all. And also if you have any advice on top of that to just uh, state at the same time, you can add that to this uh, question. So yeah. Characteristics as a person, you know, well, how, how can before, that work? Before, before I jump on to that question, let me pinpoint the fact that um, there is no luck. Sometimes destiny just finds people. Okay. You might just be there and you are destined for something. It just finds you. You just, you will not understand it, but it's just destiny. Now, on the issue of character, I think character plays a major role when it comes to success. Now, with the definition of success, um, KB uh, explained it as um, setting a goal and then accomplishing it. Now, somebody could set a goal, a very good goal, and then, and then later in the middle get tired and then abandon the whole process. Another person will also um, set a goal, persevere until he's able to accomplish it. So that is character. But if you set it and then you are not able to accomplish it, if, if you set it and then you get to the middle and then you let go of it, that means that the character did not help you. You, didn't, you weren't able to persevere. You weren't able to carry on to the very last moment. Um, when, when Paul said he has fought a good fight, he did not stop in the middle. He was able to finish. When, 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 when God was in the process of creation, he did not stop. He, 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 he rested when he finished. And so when you set a goal, it is necessary to, to go on until you are able to um, finish with it. When you finish with it, then you can say, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm, I've, I've done a very beautiful job, so I can now sleep. Like the Bill Gates that we know, I'm, I'm sure that Bill Gates personally is not putting in much effort as he did when he started his, his process. I'm sure right now people are working for him. Okay, he, He's done his job. He's, he's finished. But if you are starting, you need that character to persevere. You need to keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. But when you stop in the middle, you are failed. And so you need character to, to be successful. Nice one. Thank you very much. Anyone else care to uh, add on to this one in particular? Characteristics of a person uh, in relation to becoming successful. No, but, but uh, um, all successful 
I mean, there are certain uh, things that run within Uh, Mr. Mr. KB, I might have to, I might have to get back to you. I mean, successful Mr. people. KB, you see, I just, if um somebody could be, I mean, successful people should have that. I think I have a poor connection, so um. Uh, fair enough. Yeah, I, I'm taking notice of that, Mr. KB. So, if you care for us to come back to you again. If you care for us to come back to you again, we'll do that uh, shortly. Um, yeah. So with, with regards to um, characteristics and uh, being uh, successful, yeah. any, any, anybody care to just... Um, yeah. Um, yeah I, um, I would say, I would say, yes, characteristics are, are important. You know, you need uh, the cliche ones, be determined, have self-belief, you know, hard worker, but that's, it, that depends. That depends, right? In life, there's just two types of people. There's people that have to work hard to be successful, and there's people that are gifted to, a, to, a, to an extraordinary ever, a gift from God, we call it, you know? You've, you've heard of them footballers that don't train, that, that are drinking in the night, in the next game, they score a hat-trick, you know? And then there's footballers that, that train every single day of the week, and they go on a gold route for six games, you know. <laughs> That's just the way it is with life, you know. There's, there's, there's actors that don't read the script. They can go and record a movie, and there you go. The movie is there. And there's actors that have to read the script and rewrite it so that they can remember it in a week. Can you guys hear me? Of course. Yeah. Of course, we can hear you. You know, so there's, there's the gift side, and then there's the hard work side. And most of us are on the hard work side because we're not as gifted as that. So we have to have those characteristics. Thank you very much, Mr. Floss. I, I appreciate your, your point on that. Um, thank you so much. Could, could we just uh, look at Mr. Mr. KB again just in a minute before we go to Mr. Kobeck, please? KB. Okay, so sure. Uh, sorry about my, my, my network. Uh, it, it goes on and off. And I mean, just as Kefla said, um, you know, certain times you get this happening, you see. So it happens once in a million. There are people who are talented and can get things done. But definitely, there are certain things they are doing better that others are not doing. You understand? I, I hear Mercy, Lionel Mercy, for instance, can play the, 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 the FIFA game better than most people because he understands the moves off and on and off the pitch. But whilst he doesn't train much, he has the mentality, the, the, that mental fortitude to always express himself whilst he's on the pitch. You understand? So somebody might have to work harder than he is doing but then, because he thinks faster when he has the, 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 the ball in a, in a game, he can perform better. But then, there are certain attitudes, certain characteristics, certain things successful people do. And if you do not have that, you can't be successful. No matter how hard you try, you can't be successful. There are people who are focused on, I mean, being with people who are, they, they deem successful to them. And yes, though, they are not making it. But then there are others who are with ordinary people and are still, I mean, getting whatever success, the, the goal, goal they want to achieve, you understand? So success has these characteristics. And once you begin to follow them, there are many, there are many things you need to do. I mean, the time you sleep and wake up, what you spend your money on, I mean, what you do, at every point in time can get you to be successful. So we need to understand these dynamics or, or else I'm...
you can work as hard as you you want you to reach your goal. Nice one. Thank you very much for that, your contribution there. Uh, I think it's uh, well, well well said and well spoken. Um, yeah. So there are lots of things that one have to think about, you know, and uh, regardless of being having the characteristics or the field to become successful, you know, you have to really have some. I, I don't want to say qualities. You have to have some special character. You have to build yourself. I think what Mr. Uh, Co Co uh, sorry, Mr. KB is saying, you you have to be looking at every point in time of your life to to really position yourself well. You know, looking at the time you sleep and everything, so that what you really set yourself to achieve can really you know manifest. Uh, let's look at Mr. Kobeck. Kobeck, yeah, black Chinese. Thank you. What, yeah. what have you got to say for this one? Well, uh, you know, I, I, I love Mr. Kinslow so much. But, you know, when, when he wants to link character to Liverpool, me and him, we're going to have to um, <laughs> <laughs> Because we know, we know, we know we're having slight issues, you know, but then, yeah, we're still going to get there. Yeah, you'll never walk alone. You'll never walk alone. <laughs> you should have made reference to like Chelsea because those are not the, the, the team, so you should make yeah. reference. <laughs> Next time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice so, one. Um, like when, when it comes to when it comes to character, I think it, it, it all boils down to discipline. It is very, very, very key because you know, maybe I know how to talk. And big ups to Mr. Richmond, who is behind the scenes, making sure this is working for us. That is what he can also do. Maybe I might not be able to do what he does, you know? So if he is going to do his work especially well and add a certain discipline to what he's doing, I think it makes that uh, whatever that he wants to achieve and the success that he wants out of it becomes much better and greater. And also when it comes to character, not everybody has that zeal. You know, just as Mr. Piggy was saying, we have people that are working, others are also not working hard. I can speak of my own player, Robertson. Alent is one of the few people that goes to training and he literally does not feel like he wants to train. But when it comes to the field of play, he always shows us what he has. And th this is something that it's, it's been around. We have people that work hard. We have people that think smart. If you come to Medina Markets, they have a lot of people that are carrying the beans. The rice, you know, those kaya yay and all this stuff. They, they are working hard. But then you ask yourself a question, how much do they even earn? But someone is just thinking smart and is earning billions of, 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 of dollars. So it depends on where your strength is. I feel as, as people, we need to develop more on our strength. If, if you are good in sewing, you need to just have discipline, master yourself, uh, have a very good orientation to be, to be able to get there. And if you don't have all these things that uh, even when you even go to the Bible, it says there were ladies that took oil and they have another ladies that took extra oil. So it, it boils down to that character because it gets to a time you, you want to break, you want to give up. So if you don't have that extra zeal, like our military people have it press on regardless, then you're, you're going to just you know stay in, in the middle of your road. You, you cannot achieve uh, what, what you want to achieve when it comes to your kind of success that you want. And so it's very, very key. I think when we are disciplined and we make our mind, we, we, we want to focus on the purpose, I think we, we, we can always get there. Thank you very much, Mr. Kobeck. You know, it's, it's been fantastic having you on here and with all your addition and input to this. Uh, I'm loving it so much, yeah. But I, I, want, to be, I want to be in Super Sports, though. <laughs> I, I know. I think which one do you have in, in the UK? The, the Sky, yeah, Sky Sports, and then the Premier League, yeah, yeah, mm. yeah, doing some uh, broadcast, you know, presentation outside. I'll, I'll give you all a shout out. No, worry, it's fine. <laughs> sure, 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 sure. It's, it's, it's been fantastic. I think uh, we we've covered a a, a, a good um, a good time on this, uh, Mr. Mr. Gerard. Any any. Um, Special words for anyone with regards to, you know, becoming successful and building on their character. Um, yeah. Um, basically, success 
to be very successful, you just have to change the way you think. Thinking is the number one priority. If you're able to think in a different way to be able to do things, then you'll be successful. As already mentioned, we say character, but they are called habits. They are mm -hmm. things that you have to do to become successful. And that's what successful people normally do. They got these habits that they do. And like as we said, there are times they wake up, they are the kind of food that they do because what they classify as success is not just money. They've got their spiritual goals, they've got their pleasure, they've got goals for family. So there are things that they normally do to put them all in one shot just to become successful. You can be successful with money by your health. If you are not successful with your health, you can't enjoy your money. So these are things that they go out, they go exercise. So it's it's, 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 it's all about it's networking. It's about getting to know who you want to be, like who, and sometimes even what do you think? You have to write it down. The other thing that we don't write what we want to do. It's either short term, long term. You have to write it down and let it be um, a picture that you see all the time that I'm working towards this. I want to become this. I want to have one million in my account. How do I achieve yes. this goal? I like the sound of that. <laughs> if, yeah, yeah, because we all, every year we set high goals. You know, when New Year comes, we set high goals. We want to have this, we want to do this, we want to do this. But none of us write it down. None of us break it down to understand how we're going to achieve these goals. And if you, okay, I'm using money because everybody wants to definitely build some wealth to be able to retire and help humanity. So if you want to have some money in your account, there are things that you need to do. You have to plan. You have to set a goal. You have to have some side hustles. You have to invest. You have to save. There are so many things. So that's what you're about. Basically, it's about thinking. If you change your thinking, you can you can achieve anything you want to do. Nice one. Thank you very much. Mr. Floss? Mr. Yeah, just, Floss? just a final point. Um, from uh, from what Gerald was saying there, that's about about thinking about what you, you know how you get there. Because so I think you know the world has changed now. You know technology has brought the world forward and has brought people together. And I think this generation is adapting a lot better than some some of us are because now necessarily you don't have to work hard to be rich. Now you just have to work smartly. You know. They are children, they're kids, teenagers, 18, 19, earning more of Bitcoin, earning more of Forex, stocks and investments. They're earning more than their fathers and mothers ever done. And they're doing it in a year, you know? So, so I would say now, you know, use the technology. Use the technology and realize what age you're in and link everything together, you know, and work smartly. You don't have to sweat anymore to get somewhere, you know? But you have to use your brain cells. That is unavoidable. <laughs> nice one. I like how you put that, Mr. K. Floss. We have to use our brain because everyone has got brains and you know, we all have to do the best we can to be successful. Okay, this will bring us to the end of this session. I am so pleased for everyone's input. I mean, Thinking about success is a big topic and there, there's a lot that comes in mind when we are thinking of, of being successful. Uh, we have looked at so many different things. We have looked at, uh, you know, connections, luck, you know, friends, f I mean, family. There's, there's a lot that we are probably even having had a chance to cover it just yet because um, I was also even thinking about the factor of family members, you know, pushing people to be successful because if you, if myself personally, if I go back to so many years ago, there is the element of where, you know, I look at certain people in my family and then I feel motivated to want to do more. And, you know, that also has some sort of like influence sometimes in people's life. So there is the element of family and people assisting you, to get out there and to become successful and not to achieve what you really want to achieve. I think uh, to be successful, there's a lot to look at here. Um, 
there is the element of characteristics, building on your character, you know, doing the things that successful people do, learn from successful people. There is also the, the factor of just simply, you know, positioning yourself to do better, you know, and thinking that never leaving things too late, you know, age, like we were saying in our discussion as well, is some factors, has got some factor to do with being successful. But again, it's not fully, you know, the case. So there is a lot to look at. We will probably cover this again in another session and build on it. But for now, you know, this is men's on set and we bring to you successful factors and things that you can, you know, get your mind thinking. So let's all of us, you know, join us again to next time and enjoy the program. I thank everybody that came on the show and uh, we, we look forward to the next program very soon. Thank you.